Hey everybody, this is Jeff. If you're looking to use the iPad to help beginning readers understand and comprehend their reading better, there's a few different opportunities to do that using the accessibility tools on iPad. So let's take a look. I'm going to go into the settings right now. And in settings, if you choose accessibility, under accessibility, you'll notice a couple different options. The first one that we're going to go to is spoken content. When we go to spoken content, you'll notice that speech, speak selection is an option or speak screen is also an option. But we're going to look at highlight content and speaking rate right now. If you want the screen to read slower to the kids, you just turn their speaking rate down. Speak, select, speak selection, read selected content. Or you can speed it up. Speak selection, read selected content. Speak so, selection, read selected content. The kids can choose the rate at which the iPad reads to them. The next thing that you probably want to take a look at is the highlight the content. By highlighting the content, it'll pull the sentence out that the iPad is reading at the moment, turn it one color, and then if you choose words and sentences, it'll choose that word, show it a different color. So kind of the old follow the bouncing ball concept. But what I have here is words and sentences highlighted, and then background color selected. And then if you choose yellow and blue as your accessibility colors, yellow and blue will really make the screen pop for most kids. If you have all those settings set, if I go to a document, and here's a document for example, the next thing that I want to do is I want to click and I want to hold and drag what I want read to the kids. So I could just drag and highlight that section. Then you'll notice speak is an option. So if I hit speak, it will read to me and it will show the sentences in blue and the word iPad is reading in yellow. The first half of the Saber season can be summed up with one word. Pain. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, please reach out to Jeff or Jason. Thank you.